Okay, now let's prove the very first identity, which is the difference identity for cosine. Okay, so let's start with this unit circle here. So we draw the angle alpha there and the angle beta there. So this angle alpha minus this angle beta leaves this angle left. Okay, so this angle here is the angle alpha minus beta. Since this is the angle alpha, we know the x-coordinate on the unit circle is the cosine of the angle, so that x-coordinate is cosine of alpha. The y-coordinate of the point on the unit circle is the sine of the angle, so this is sine of alpha. Similarly, over here, the x-coordinate, since the angle is beta, is cosine of beta, and the y-coordinate is sine of beta. Okay, so this is uh, one of the two diagrams we're going to use in the proof. Okay, in the second diagram, I'm going to draw the angle alpha minus beta. Then the x-coordinate of the point is the cosine of that angle. And the y-coordinate is the sine of that angle. And the last point I'm going to plot is this point right here, which since we're on the unit circle, the x-coordinate is 1, and since we're on the x-axis, the y-coordinate is 0. Okay, so if we form two triangles, this triangle and this triangle, they're going to be congruent triangles because these two lengths are both 1, as are these two lengths, and the angle joining them is exactly the same. So this triangle here is congruent to this triangle here, which means the length of the red segment in each diagram is exactly the same. That's the fact that we're going to use to prove the identity. Okay, so what we need to do is actually find the length of the segment in each case, and we're going to use that, we're going to use the distance formula to do that. Okay, so the distance formula says that the distance between these two points is the square root of the square of the first x-coordinate minus the second x-coordinate, so cosine of alpha minus cosine of beta squared, plus the square of the difference in y-coordinates, so plus sine of alpha minus sine of beta squared. Okay, so this segment here equals this segment, so that's going to be equal to the distance between these, which is the square root of the first x-coordinate minus the second x-coordinate, plus the square of the y-coordinate here minus the y-coordinate here, sine of alpha minus beta minus zero, is just the sine of alpha minus beta. Okay, so since I have a square root on this side of the equation and a square root of, on this side of the equation, what I'm going to do is square both sides. Okay, if I square each side, then the square root essentially goes away, so I just have the insides left. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to FOIL each piece. Okay, so this is what I get when I FOIL the first piece. And this is what I get when I FOIL the second term on the left-hand side. Okay, so this here is the entire left-hand side. So it equals what I get after simplifying the right-hand side. Okay, so I'm first going to FOIL this. Okay, so this is what I get then plus this term here. And now what I need to do is clean things up. So let me start with this left-hand side. Okay, it's a really long equation. The top here is the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So I notice that I have a cosine squared of alpha plus a sine squared of alpha, and that's equal to 1. I also no notice that I have a cosine squared of beta plus a sine squared of beta. 
that's also equal to 1. So let me, let me rewrite this, this first uh, side of the equation using those two facts. Okay, so I, I'm going to take the cosine squared plus sine squared, and I have 1 there. Minus 2 cosine alpha cosine beta. Then I have cosine squared beta plus sine squared beta is 1, so plus 1. Then minus 2 sine of alpha sine of beta. And now I'm going to clean up the right-hand side. On the right-hand side, I notice that I have a cosine squared of alpha minus beta plus a sine squared of alpha minus beta. That's also equal to 1. So I have equals 1 from that minus 2 cosine of alpha minus beta plus that 1 right there. Okay, so let me clean things up a bit, again a bit. Here I have 1 plus 1, which is 2 minus this term, minus this term, equals this 1 plus this 1 is 2, minus 2 cosine of alpha minus beta. Okay, let me clean things uh, up some more. So I have a 2 on this side and a 2 on this side, so I'm going to cancel those. So then I'm, I'll write down what I have left. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2, because what I want to do is I want to isolate the cosine of alpha minus beta, since that is the identity I'm trying to prove. So I divide both sides by negative 2. So here these negative 2's cancel, so I have cosine of alpha, cosine of beta. Negative 2 over negative 2 makes it positive, so plus sine of alpha, sine of beta, equals cosine of alpha minus beta, which is exactly what we wanted to prove. Okay, all the others we can get, now that we have this one proven, we can use simpler, uh, simpler identities to prove them.